Rabbil Alameen. It's a great time, you see, we develop every night. Alhamdulillah, something good in our relationship with Allah. And some people, you know, started to get tired. Imam, okay, let's go now. After six, seven nights, then we come back to you, inshallah, by the last ten nights or the night of Laylatul Qadr. So are you one of them? No. You're one of them. I see some of you intending something, you know. Okay, no problem. If I stay me and the brother Hafiz, that, that, that's enough. Inshallah. But we will continue, inshallah, till the last day. Okay, who will join us till the last day? We promise? Allahu Akbar. MashaAllah. May Allah accept from you. Actually, we will miss a lot once Ramadan is finished. Wallahi. You know, uh, it's about getting closer to Allah day after day, day after day. But I just wanted quickly to remind myself and to remind you as well of the surah that we are going to recite, inshallah, Surah Al-A'raf. Surah Al-A'raf, does anyone here know what's the meaning of Al-A'raf? The middle height, right? Huh? I think it kind of means like of having knowledge of knowledge. So why 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 you why you feel shy? Don't worry. Okay, talk, no problem. Go ahead, again. So it comes from Arafat, from getting knowledge. Is what you mean? Okay, okay, yes, brother. Okay, that's great. Good answer, mashallah. May Allah give you shifa. It's a good good contribution. Hadi, may Allah bless you. But one of the things that we need to know, the word Arafah means he got the knowledge. That's Arafah, Ma'rifah. But Surah Al-A'raf is talking about those people that their good deeds are equal to their bad deeds. And they will be in the middle between the hellfire and Jannah. Imam, is that is possible? Okay, Allah will tell them, okay, one, one good deed missing, okay, go Jannah, no problem. Do you think is that easy? It's not that easy. Otherwise, Allah would cancel this group and that there is no A'raf. But since we have A'raf, that means it will happen. That you will have people, their good deeds are equal to their bad deeds. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَبَيْنَهُمَا hijab." There is a barrier, a fence between Jannah and the hellfire. Who is on that fence? Al-A'raf, the people of Al-A'raf. And I don't want to take too much, but in, surah, in this surah, Allah is starting talking about the story of Adam and Eve. As you know, when Allah had created Adam, then Allah had ordered the angels to prostrate, and Iblis was there, one of the, the people of and Malaika, one of the righteous servants of Allah, but he wasn't ever, ever, ever from the angels. He originally from the jinn. As Allah said in Surah Al-Kahf, إِلَّا إِبْلِيسَ كَانَ مِنَ الْجِنِّ فَفَسَقَ عَنْ أَمْرِ رَبِّ Iblis was one of the jinn kind, but he was so righteous to Allah, then Allah elevated him to the ranks of the angels of Allah. Of course, Iblis had refused and he disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then Allah allowed Adam and Eve to enter Jannah, you know that story. And then Iblis came to whisper to Adam and Eve and both of them, both. The Islamic ideology is different than the Christian Theology, the, theological theory and even Judaism because they put all the blame on whom? On Eve, our sisters. They put the blame on you. <laughs> yes, I put some blame on you nowadays, but not the other, not the other sin, not the, the, the first thing. Okay? I just wanted to thank the sisters, really. They did a great job. Brilliant idea, uh, Sister. Yasmin and Sister Hala, Sister Ruby, mashallah, they got some toys and uh, some candy, some painting tools for the kids and they keep them now in the kitchen to give us peaceful, you know, environment for Salah. May Allah bless them for this good idea. For many years we used to suffer from this, but alhamdulillah, finally, you know,
You know what's the message here? Do not lose hope yeah. in the mercy of Allah. May Allah guide us. Allah may mean Allah and Amin. So, Adam and Eve, both of them have disobeyed Allah. But can anyone here answer this question? What's the difference between the sin of Adam and Eve and the sin of Iblis? Yes. The sin of Iblis or the devil came from the origin, from the source of arrogance, came from the arrogance, was because of arrogance. And what's the reason for the sin of Adam and Eve? Huh? Yes, what's the reason for disobedience? Yes, Allah Akbar, yes, doctor. Whispering. What's what's up? Okay, what's the, what's the hidden message? Because I don't want people to go to the details. Go to the main point. Why Allah is sharing that story with us? Your father, your mother, the main reason for them to disobey Allah was the whisper of the shaitan. So who is your enemy? Shaitan. You know, some people, <laughs> they, they, they treat the shaitan so gently. You know that? Imam, no, I'm so peaceful. I don't have any enemies. Allahu Akbar, Imam, I am a peaceful Muslim. Allah, the one who created you, told you that's your enemy. And if you said to somebody, what do you know about Iblis? No, Imam, I don't want to commit backbiting towards Iblis. That's haram. <laughs> that's haram, inshallah. See the dhabba and the Imam. I don't want you to go to the details. Imam, how the shaitan whispered to Adam and Eve when he they was in the Jannah, how he entered Jannah, how did Allah allow him to enter Jannah after he cursed him, did he turn to a snake and he, you know, was sneaking around, angels didn't see him, Allah didn't know about him. <laughs> Forget about the details. Don't worry, Allah made that to happen. I don't want you to be busy with the details. And today after Fajr, I had the discussion with one of the brothers about when Allah created Eve. When exactly? After the disobedience of Iblis and before entering Jannah or she was created in Jannah. Because he heard some stories about, you know, the beauty of women. MashaAllah, they are so nice and so beauty. So beautiful, that's why Allah created them in Jannah. No, no brother, don't, don't believe that. It wasn't created, in, it was created before entering Jannah. Because the ayat that I'm going to recite, Allah called both. وَيَا آدَمُ أُسْكُنْ أَنْتَ وَزَوْجُكَ الْجَنَّةِ Oh Adam, you and your wife, your spouse, go to Jannah. She was created before. But one of, one of the things that I want you to concentrate that you have an enemy and that enemy took your father and your mother from Jannah your enemy is the shaitan be aware and I want you to reflect on how many sins that you're committing nowadays in Ramadan and what is after Ramadan in Ramadan, mashallah, you are not committing too much sin compared to what's after Ramadan that tells you about the reason of disobedience is from the shaitan. So be aware, be aware that the shaitan, you know, distracts you. Allah said, Ya Bani Adama, la yaftinannakum shaitan. Do not let the shaitan distract you, deceive you. Kama akhraja'abawaykum min al-jannah. As he took out your parents from jannah. And be aware. That's why I keep adhkar, saying the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, reciting ayat al kursi. And also keep the adhkar as Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, daily in the morning and in the evening, it will protect you from the whisper of the shaitan. You memorize and I memorize. Wa min sharri al waswasi, al khannas, al ladhi waswisu fi, sudur al nas, min al jinnati, wa al nas. So you have two, two things might whisper, shaitan. And that is something we can say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem, then we you get rid of it. What's the other time? 
a human being might whisper to you. So what should you say to a human being to get rid of him? I want to let him as you. Imam, I want you to reduce Salah today because we got tired. Imam, what, what do you think? So what should the Imam say? I want to let him stand as you, brother, not talk to me. No. <laughs> No, that's not the way. That's not the way. <laughs> when you talk with your brother, if he is whispering and he's getting close to you, stay away from him getting close to that relationship, but keep what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered you to do, like assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah, how are you brother? Check on him, but not that too much close, not to let him to whisper to you. And one of the things I, I told you, stay away from the details of, of the story, I, I'm calling you. When you go home, search on Surah Al-A'raf, read the first two, three pages, it will give you the whole story about Adam and Eve. And uh, one of the things that I remember Dr. Rahim, maybe, where is Dr. Yusuf? Dr. Yusuf, uh, they, they remember this when the, a man came to the Imam and he told him, Imam, how Iblis, uh, did Iblis get married? What's the name of his wife? He said, I wasn't invited. I'm not the Imam who did the nikah. <laughs> you see the details, some people go try to get... We have a ruling in Islam, it's called the Ilmun la yanfa' wa jahlun la yadur. Ilmun la yanfa'. Knowledge will not benefit you. And even if you are ignorant of this, nothing will harm you. Focus on the main message, what Allah wanted to tell me. Is that Allah khair? Barakallahu feekum. Let's continue our